That happens every room I go into. It's amazing. Hello, thank you, thank you very much everyone. It's almost over, don't worry. 20 years, almost 18 years since Queer as Folk came out, which now means that gay men walk up to me and openly tell me they've wanked to my work. <laughs> no other writers get that. JK Rowling doesn't get, she does get that actually. <laughs> Little Ron, Ginger, lovely. Well done JK. It's an honor, it's an honor. I do know, as people have said tonight, I work in television, that's easy. I think to be there at Balfour Beatty and Barclays and in those companies is a much harder piece of work and I'm aware of that. Like I say, I don't do this alone. My casting director, Andy Pryor, is here, who's a great believer in casting gay as gay characters and he's been a great influence throughout the land. So well done, Andy, for doing that. It is an honor. I am gonna get political slightly. Bear with me, drinks ready at the moment, but um, Dustin Lance Black stole my speech. What do I do now? What country did you miss out? Egypt? will do Egypt. But, it's like, but seriously, it's like I have a very lucky life. And um, we, you look at the people winning these prizes tonight, and you were beautiful, and you were brilliant, and you were glittering, and you were different, and you're the same. And it's wonderful. And every fucking time an election comes along, we are punch bags. We are footballs. We are dartboards. We are scoreboards. Don't you get sick of it? Sometimes you just want to have your tea and go, there they are, banging on about gay rights again. Although, I'm equally delighted that we are so important, and every time we have an election, every single one of our leaders in this forthcoming election has severe and serious questions to answer about their commitment to gay rights. They've all done bad stuff. Across the Atlantic, we have a fucking space hopper in charge who is about to revoke an awful lot of stuff going on. All those countries, as Dustin said, there's a lot of work to be done, but um, yesterday, to just be too specific, how lucky we are with our balloons and our glitter and our drinks tonight. This is lovely. And we are beacons, we are golden, we are diamonds, we are shining. I'm so proud of this room and everything that we are. But yesterday, five people in Moscow were arrested for presenting a petition asking to investigate the Chechnya concentration camps. They weren't even protesting. They were asking to investigate. That's quite a normal good thing. They were locked up for it. It's like, I would like to dedicate this award tonight to them, and their names are Nikita Safranov, Yuri Guyana, Valentina Detilarenko, uh, Marina Didalis, and Alexandra Alex Kivo. I think I'd like you to stand up. Stand up for those five. Stand up for those people. And God bless them. So thank you for this. Keep fighting. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you.